So I'm uh, I'm just taking time out my busy schedule because my body's a temple and all. <laughs> uh, I just anyway, I was doing a few miles and I thought I'd have a quick one. <clears throat> so next week I'm uh, I'm going to be spending four days with Junior the Hitter Witter. Uh, one one of the long line of unbelievable talents that come from the uh, the Brendan Ingle conveyor belt, Harold Bomber Graham, well, it's Johnny Nelson, Billy Joe Saunders ended up there, Nassim Ahmed, Ishan Pickering, John Thaxon, Kid Galahad, Kel Brook, uh, even kind of a few other ones like, like Richard Towers, uh, the, the, um, the, the, there's a, must be a lot if I can sit and think. Buster Keaton, uh, yeah, there was just a like long line of like uh, British Commonwealth European world ch world champions, and um, I've, 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 I'm a massive fan of Ricky Hatton. Uh, I watched him. I remember him as an amateur, um, but obviously. I, I kind of knew of him probably about 2000. Um, so he went pro 97. And so obviously when Hatton was the WBU champion, Junior was clearing up 2001, 2002, 2003 with the British, the Commonwealth and European. So that fight really should have happened. Uh, you know, I can understand why they were kept apart. Because it was obviously they were going to fight for a world title somewhere down the line. So when Ricky won his in 2005, uh, won a couple actually, and then went up and won one, moved up a weight. Uh, junior was uh, the WBC in 2006 to 2008. So to me, there was two windows, there was two opportunities when that fight. There was 2001 to 2004. When Junior was clearing up and Ricky had the, the WBU, which, you know, no disrespect, but I've known fighters win them playing snakes and ladders. And then when they were both world champions, I'm sure anyone who really knows boxing will agree with me that the best out of the four was the green belt, was the WBC, over the IBF, the WBA and the WBO. So... That fight really is, it, it is an absolute outrageous crime to think, why didn't that fight happen? So I've heard Ricky Hatton's side. Uh, I've read his book. I've read two of his books, actually. <clears throat> and um, I, I, I've researched a lot this year. Um, I've watched him on YouTube the other day, basically saying, he, he had to ridicule Junior Witter. And to quote Ricky Hatton in 2007, early 2007, he said, Junior Witter is the Steve Davis of boxing. Maybe so, right? But Junior Witter held the World Boxing Council. So he had the best belt out of the, the lot. So, you know, on the, on the two kind of points I'm getting across is, if I was a light welterweight coming up today, I'd rather have the, the British, the Commonwealth and the European than the WBU. And listen, there's no doubt Ricky Hatton had the better career. Um, that You know, he had the mayor of the fight, he had the Pacquiao fight, and he was a two-time weight world champion. Um, so... That, I'm, listen, I'm the biggest Ricky Hatton fan in the world. But, I mean, I've just uploaded a video on here. Um, Joe Calzaghi saying Junior Witter was the better fighter. And I, I've spoken to a few few people in boxing over the years. Alex Morrison, promoter. And um, he said Junior Witter, would have, that would have been an easy fight. I don't know. I see the fight going two ways. I could see... Junior Witter being very negative and Ricky outworking him and it being an awful fight to watch. Hugging, lots of, you know, um, Ricky 
kind of junior smothering his work. Uh, and it just would have been horrible to watch. And Ricky would have won. And I also could have seen Ricky charging in and Rick and Junior being called, calculated and, and catching him on the way. And obviously, Ricky was known for cuts and um, Junior just being too precise. And so I could have seen either way. But apparently on the bookies, Junior was the favourite. So, listen, before anyone says I'm slag I'm not slagging anyone off, I'm just simply stating facts, right? Junior was the better world champion, certainly had the better belt. And carrying the British, the Commonwealth and European, held more in boxing than the WBU, the World Boxing Union. Uh, you know, yeah, it wasn't really, it's, it's not really, it's up there with the WBF, um, the IBO is a lot better these days, but back in them days, it was, it was, it was among them. Do you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, it just, I, do you know what? It's, it is a crying shame to, you know, if I sit and think about it, to think that fight was spoken of for 10 years, 10 whole years, Ricky Hatton, Junior Witter, who you, who you support, who was your favorite? I don't know. Listen, I liked them both. But um, that fight, in my opinion, it would have been a pay-per-view all day. You know, if you think that the made George Groves against James the Girl pay-per-view, and that was for the British title in 2011. So what would Junior Winter against Ricky Hatton be at? That would have been pay-per-view for a decade. I'd still pay to see it now. Ricky Hatton was going to have a comeback exhibition against Marco Antonio Barrera. I know um, Junior was on Sean Atwood's the other month and he had quite strong opinions towards Ricky Hatton. Um, yeah, so comments below. Um, I, I, I could have seen, I could have seen both outcomes where Ricky Hatton win and I could have seen an outcome where Junior Hatton win. I just think it's an outrageous, crying shame. I could sit here now and I could probably cry. I could get myself upset that that fight never happened. So what's your thoughts, boxing people? Um, let me know your opinions, Ricky Hatton. Listen, if Ricky Hatton would have won, and he quite possibly could have done, then that fight would not have been an easy fight for him, regardless of, you know, if if anyone who knows boxing and, you know, Ricky Hatton was, is arguably the greatest ever British fighter with who had the most humongous support. You know, everyone loved Henry Cooper. Everyone loved Frank Bruno, but then Ricky Hatton come along and, you know, so Junior knew he was up against the most loved son British boxing's ever produced. 30,000 gone to Las Vegas. So he was never he was never going to match Ricky Hatton for fans. But what he could do, he could play the Pantoman villain very well. So if Ricky Hatton was Luke, Luke Skywalker, Junior Witter played a marvellous Darth Vader. Um, but you know what? It's a crying shame. It is just a... I can't get my words out to describe how upsetting that fight is that us, the British boxing public, were robbed of watching that fight because it should have been a trilogy. It, you know, it should have been... Why was there never a Eubank Benfrey? Um, Frotch Groves, there should have been a third fight. Uh, and there, there wasn't even one of these fights, so there should have been Junior Witter... Ricky Hatton, there should have been at least three absolute classics, but we will never know. But uh, comments below, guys. Um, remember to be nice. The world isn't a very nice at the pl nice place at the minute. So, listen, I could have seen Ricky Hatton win, but I very much could have seen Junior with a win also. So let us know your thoughts down below. Have a great weekend, people.